Oh. Neil's going to wield his influence and get a few more people out of class. <laughs> Hello, am I on? I am on. You really don't have to speak into that thing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start, and hopefully uh, bodies will continue to drift in in the course of the speaker's discourse, which will prove uh, very attractive, I trust. I'd like to, my name is Mitchell Desjardins, and I'm a teacher here at SciArc, and uh, this speaker who's here today is someone that I've personally been working on and on for six years to try and bring in some capacity to SciArc and or Southern California to speak. He, uh, at the time, six years ago, was a kind of, I felt a kind of un unknown gold mine of uh, really very uh, kind of alternative thinking about making architecture. I think that Mark will agree that he is primarily concerned with the making of structures and architecture. And uh, in the intervening six years, he has become far more well-known, both internationally and within the borders of his native France. Uh, my six years of trying to bring him here ended in failure, so right off the bat, I need to thank my partner and wife, as well as Richard Kishalik and Juliette Saltzman of the French Consulate, Richard Kishalik of the Museum of Contemporary Art, for organizing the lecture series. In six months, as opposed to my six years, they were successful instead of uh, meeting with my kind of failure. At, uh, not only bringing Mark here, but also 12 other illustrious French practitioners of our profession to Southern California. And uh, uh, I'd just like to thank those individuals as well as uh, Museum of Contemporary Art, SciArc, USC, UCLA, and Art Center. Uh, just to kind of start with a list of names. Um, Choisy, Eiffel, Fresine, Fouve, and Mimram. And as you will all see in a few minutes, the uh, inclusion of the name Mark Mimram in that list of illustrious artists slash engineers, uh, I'm, I'm very confident will be justified once you witness the work that he's brought with him today. Um, the artist engineer is a, is a breed of maker that we do not nurture here in this country. It is not the case in Europe, and I would say it's certainly not the case within France, where the artist engineer is, although rare, is seen as an important part of dressing the urban centers, especially in France, of France, in works of civil and structural engineering which go beyond their mere utilitarian function in a bridge that would be carrying us across a river in a tower or a building for sheltering a swimming pool, for example. Uh, these works become objects and structures of civic pride and the society demands that an investment be made in these works of civil and structural engineering and traditionally in France there have been practitioners who answer to that demand and once again I want to list these names Choisy, Eiffel, Fessine, Puve and Mimram. Mark Mimram was educated at the 
oldest and probably most prestigious school of engineering in the world, the École de Pont saint chaussée in Paris. He also holds a degree in architecture from the Beaux-Arts and a second degree in engineering from Berkeley University here in California. I believe from my no, no small experience with him that he is an evangelist, although he doesn't speak like one, as you will see, but he is nonetheless in the work an evangelist for constructed truth. And I have witnessed this in watching him draw, redraw, and redraw for the 10,000th time the same structural and formal diagram for a structural element with only the slightest variations. In fact, you have to, so, so slight that those of us who worked in his office had to ask him what the variation was, but he could always tell us. And this process was then again followed by a model, by the time I got in the office, a computer model, which was developed not to show how the piece of work was to appear, but simultaneously how it would be made and how it would function. These models were made over and over and over and over. The result is what you will shortly see, a kind of commitment to the making of, for lack of a better definition, urban furniture in some of the, arguably the cultural center of Europe. And I'm very, very pleased to be able to introduce today Mr. Mark Mimram, artist, engineer, and architect. Thank you, Mitchell. Thank you for coming. Um, we won't have so much time to discuss about artist engineer. I don't feel like I am an artist engineer anywhere, but we'll, we'll talk together after. Uh, let's begin with that slide. Uh, I, I will show you. How much time do we have? A quarter? An hour or something? Like that? Yeah. Okay, we'll go. If you if you think that you have to leave, let me know before because we are not so many. So if it's too long, let me know. Well, I, I will try to get quick. But first, I, I would like to apologize for my English, but you'll have some French English and and slides. So so I wanted before to, to begin with our project, I wanted to speak a few words about the reasons of the project and why and how we managed to, to make it rational. Uh, that's a word you don't use here anymore. Rationality, you use that? Ugly word though, but I love it. Uh, reason, do you use reason anymore? No. Anyway, it's not only here, it's all over. So you, will, I, I'm kind of a dinosaur, how do you say dinosaur? This kind of animal, no? Some of that. So we are, so coming, okay, coming back to that, I would just, just want to show some of the slides of the reasons of this word. Engineers are kind of strange people. They, they feel like they have the reason for everything. So they are, they have no, they have only one question, one question and only one answer. So they feel like they are, we are very, let's say, uh, it's very easy, you know, because we have always, always the right, right answer. And that's not really true. One of the right answer was for a long time the weight and the, the performance, you know, the, for example, the span. Span and weight are two things that are going together very well for engineers. They want to have the, the largest span and the, the less weight let's say less weight for by square meters, for example. So in the very beginning, the, the building were around one, let's say 100 kilos per square meters, and now it's coming to five kilos. 
Moscometer. So the progress was linked exactly to that, this very simple idea. It's better when it's lighter. Very strange idea. I don't know why it was like that, but it was very easy for the engineers to, to go on that way. So that was a very, very easy task, a very easy way to think. But in reality, engineers were working on a project. At the very beginning, they were working on the project for military reasons. We, we call us civil engineers, but we are not so civil. We were coming out of the military uh, world. For example, and in the 18th century, the military world of engineering, that's where the school of engineering was built for, was, why don't you come? It's, it's just the beginning. <laughs> the first reason was to discover the country, discover the geography. And so it, it began to be very, very interesting because, because of this military reason, they, they, they tried to figure out how was the country, how to discover the country. So those are drawings from engineers, from engineers, Students. And they, they, they try to recognize a country, draw it, and understand how the geography can, can fit in the project. And as you can see, no, you cannot see. Yeah. As you can see, inside the project, the reasons of geography was really in, in, in linked to the project. For example, here, you can see two things which are quite important. The first one would be the, 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 the traces of the geography inside the project, and the second one would be the way of making. And I, as I always say, and all, all of, for, for students, you are in a very strange position because you don't know how the things are made, and I said that you should understand that without the making, without the way of making, you cannot make a project. So it's for you, it's quite complicated. It's like, it's like teaching music to a sourd or some, a deaf, no? So, because you need to understand, the, you're deaf and, but don't be, but don't, don't worry. Everybody was like that, everybody was like that. But you are like, in that position that you need to, you, I feel like, you need to know how to make the things to, to make the project. And usually, in school of architecture, people think that you think the project, and maybe someday it will be made by some, somebody else, and the making is something out of the thinking, or something after the thinking. And I would like just to say tonight that make, tonight, no, to, to play, that making and thinking are really completely linked, not one after the other, but one in the other. So if you look at those projects, for example, you can see that here, it will show you, it's from the 18th century, it will show you how the foundation was done, and then how you build the first support, and how you make the form for the, for the, the arch, and how you, you build. So you, you don't look at, it's not an image of what it should be, and it's absolutely not a virtual image. It's exactly the contrary. It speaks about the way of making the, 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 the it's a project, but it speaks more about the way of making than, than how it should be by the end. Actually, if you look at the, any review, you will see that they will show you virtual projects that will never be made, and, and it's not a problem that it will, won't, will never be made. The problem is that it has not been thought as a process of making. So, I'd like to come back to that because no, it's full. Because in, if not, we will go to an, a strange point, which is the idea of abstraction. The idea of abstraction is very, it's quite dangerous, not only for architects, but all over for engineers. Because engineers, they don't, they never talk about reality. Because we have to transform reality to number, no? So we think that we have the right, we are right, and everything we do is very, it's objective, no? Which is quite, it's completely false. Because we, we don't have only one answer to one question, we have a lot of answers to a lot of questions. But if we think that we have, if engineers think that they have the right answer, they will think that they are in a perfect world. So in that perfect world, we are out of the world. We are in a complete abstract world. 
And I'm afraid the dark sector is going to that world too. But in engineering, it's very dangerous. So you see those, this bridge here, it's a bridge that is not in Los Angeles, but in Paris. It could be anywhere. It's a pure, perfect mind thinking of an engineer that will say that it's the perfect bridge, the more economical, whatever. And as you know, those, these answers are completely crazy because they change every, all the time. But they, at every moment of history, they will say that's the best. After 10 years, it's the best would change, but it's always the best which is really dangerous. Dangerous because the idea of abstraction will get you in a certain city where you are out of the world, out of the ground, out of geography. So if we can just link those two things, the idea of geography, which is really the basis of public space, the idea of sharing the space, and what we do share for the best is really is geography. And on the other way, to feel like as space is not only a pure intellectual ma uh, thinking, but space is a uh, material. If you look at space as a material, you will begin to feel the thing, feel the pleasure, the pleasure, the pleasure, the pleasure of, the pleasure of feeling. You no, know, touch the thing, feel the sickness, feel the lightness. All this kind of feeling will be more important than the idea of it. So. Because when you are in the perfect world, you feel like you have the perfect answer. So, for example, in architecture, we had the perfect answer in the 60s. And in engineering, we still have the perfect answer, which is that. That answer is the perfect answer for anywhere in the world. So it's for nowhere. And I, I would like to talk about the idea of building a project for one place and not for another one. And I'm sure that you will understand that Architecture is not only construction. I, won't, I will never say that. Architecture is obviously not construction. But if you, if you don't feel construction in architecture, you will never find, that was, it, was, it was a joke between Mitchell and I, you will never find the divine beam. Let's look for the divine beam. Let's look for, the, let's look for a very simple, very simple, uh, Sublime, 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 sublime. Okay, come, no, I have to come back to that. Uh, and there is another thing which is quite dangerous now, by the days, is that at the very beginning, civil engineering was based on military, as I, as I told you. But so it's good that he left the military to the civil. But in leaving the, the, the military way of thinking, they left geography. And the new value now that everybody will share is the value of the time, time saving. So you can do whatever you want. You can do the worst highway of the world, but if you save two minutes, it, it begins to be better. Before it was, a very, it was a very slow, it was a very nice road on the hill, and now it's a road that will permit to, to have two, uh, less, let's say, two minutes less on your, on your way. So, the idea of time is very dangerous because it, it, it's going on that way of abstraction. So coming, we'll try to come back to, to the idea of how these things are made. Very quickly, uh, we, we have this, the, the, the chance that for us, we have so many reasons that you know, I'll just tell you some of those. One is the idea that the form will be issued from a reason of of how the, the forces are di divided in the material. For example, you see this animal is, is too cantilever, so it's, it's getting thinner and uh, by the end. So the form is linked to, obviously to the movement of forces and, and the value of, we can express in the structure the idea of tension and compression. We can explain how the, the what is the, the particularity of nodes and members. We can explain the, the, the variation of form along these, uh, those members. We can explain the idea of a node, the idea of the, the members in the space. We can explain the idea of the void. I would like just to say that, coming back to that, that the idea of void is much more important than the idea of putting material in space. What is more important is not the, the, that's the thickness of a beam, but how you, dis how you, you place the void in between those two Flat. So, for example, here, the rigidity of that is coming obviously from the void and not from the material itself. 
And for, to finish with those first slides, that's very, something very important for me is how you pass from this idea of members in space, how you order them so that they will become in, the, they will become in a new order. And this new order is, is passing, is giving you the possibility to pass from discontinuity to continuity. So this, this wave from continuity to discontinuity, coming back to that, going back, it's, it's always the world, the world of engineering that we are dealing with. And you can see in this slide that the, obviously the form is coming from the wind, the organization of that. So we are, we are very lucky because we, we never deal only with form on itself, but form as through, through, through different rules. And for, to finish to this term, term, term this depth idea is that I love this idea of, for example, Mitchell was speaking about Choisy. If you look at those two slides, they, they talk about projects, but you don't see any project, but you can imagine it. For example, on the left side, there's no bridge, but it's the form of the bridge. Who designed in this room the form of the project you will use for the project? Nobody, no? And if you look, if you think of the form, I mean, the form making, the formwork, if you think of the formwork before making the project, so you will think about two things which are very, very important. The way of making and who will do that? Who will do that? You are not alone. We are not the genius in front of a white sheet of paper. We are together with the builder. And we have to use these hours of work in our project. So they are there. You see that it's a project of a bridge, but you don't see it. But you can imagine that. You have the formwork and you have the levels of the water, which is the geography. So you have to, those two things together in this drawing. And here you have the, the tools. And who, I, I'd, I'd love to be in a, an architectural school where a student will draw a tool, even imagine a tool. So can you imagine, if you can imagine a tool, you, you'll change all the, the way of looking at architecture. If you look at that, this was from the 18th, from the 18th century. He gave everything that we are using now, the formwork, Tadawondo, Link, uh, you know, it's everything there already. So think about that in your project and you will feel a different way of looking to architecture. So I'll pass, I can pass quite quickly. Why, why don't you sit here? It's, it's, we are beginning a new show now. So we have a break. Why don't you come here? No? You don't want to sit on the chairs? Yeah, great, okay, thank you. You, you. No? Well, come on. Now, that's the second part. We will have five parts, so, so you can... Thank you for coming. Okay, now I'll show you some of our project. You are, you are be on the first... Ah, yeah, you, this line is not reserved. You can sit here. Nobody will come. And it's not more expensive, either. OK. So I'll show you some of our projects. One, one is a strange project for you, because you don't under, even understand the function of that, is a, is a toll gate. That's what you call that? The place where you pay to use a highway. You don't have that here. So it's, an, it's a project for the moon for you. But anyway, we, we did that in France, because we pay for the highways. And we did this platform of. 300, which is let's say 1,000 feet for over 1,000 feet a square. You see that? So, so it's, those are arches, 210 meters, which is 630 feet long. So what we use for that, we use a, a kind of a palm, to, palm tree, palm, palm tree, leaf, palm leaf. So we use a palm leaf. I'll, I'll show you why we use that. Uh, no, this is not the right. Oh, we'll try. You see, this this is this is a cabin. Cabin? You say cabin? Yeah. The guy is here, and he take the money. So this guy is in a strange situation. He doesn't do anything. You pass on the highway, and you take the money. So I felt like that guy was, you know, like a, a king in the in the jungle, you no? Know? So he was just like that, take the money. So I said, why don't we put a palm on it? 
leaf over his head, you know? So that will be like that, take the money. So that was the beginning of that, but that, 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 that's from the first, just that's the first idea, and then you have to build it. So this is, from here to here, this is 21, so this is 63 feet cantilever. It's quite, you know, so, and then you say, you imagine that it will fall down, so we imagine a triangle going that way. And those arches are, so we have two, two levels of seeing to the sea. The, when you come here with, with your car, when you are far away, you, you have to have a sign showing that you are coming to the, this tall gate, but you don't need to make an arch or a big structure if you can put your feet. I always say to my students, if you can put your feet, why don't you jump, you know? You, you don't need to make it too long if you, cannot, if you don't need it. So in that case, the arch was 70 meters, which is 210 feet long. So we, so what we, the first thing we, drew, we designed is a special machine. Let's talk about that machine. You see that? You see that uh, this part of the tower, it's not only straight. If, even if you see the model, this one is not the same as that one, but you cannot see. That's what Michel said. We always make models exactly the same. They are not the same, actually. One is straight, and the other one is straight here, and the other one is curved, but curved not only in this direction, but it's curved in the in this section. So the section is not like that, but like that. So that it will be rigid. And you, when you have your, your diaphragm inside the structure, you won't see them. Because if you, if you make a structure like that, the light, when you have light going along the structure, it will be like that, no? So I had to put some resistance in the form itself. So if you want to have resistance on the, in your form, you just fold it. That's what we did. So for that, we invent a special machine. No, wait a second. This machine, see that? This, when, you, you, when you fold the plate, you use usually you use cylinders. So when you, the, plate, the, the steel plate comes, it will curve that way. But in that machine, we curve it that way, but we curve it that way too. That's why it's kind of a, an olive. Olive? Uh, uh, olive. Oblong. Oblong. No, I mean olive. Oblong. How do you say olive in English? Olive. Oh, it's an olive. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's not a cylinder, it's an olive. So, so it's, it's curved that way. So the steel plate will come back and be curved that way. So it will be more rigid. And all the work we're doing now is it's, it's kind of a revolution because those work we couldn't have done then, let's say, 20 years, let's say 10 years ago. Because those are completely linked between computer drawings Geometry, which is quite complex, quite, quite, you can imagine the geometry is quite complex, directly linked with the, the way of making. So we give the, we give the, it was diskette, you know, disks, no? Computer, computer files, and then the machine will cut it. So it begins with a leaf like that of steel. You, you, you give a form and the machine will cut it and then it will weld it. And now with the new process of welding, we can weld it continuously so that we can have exactly the form that we draw it with the computer. So, and then after a while you have this palm over the, can be, like the, here, and you see this, as you can see, it's very important for the light, because from here, for example, you see it's darker here and lighter here, you see that? So that, and then you have a shadow, very hard one here, because it's very thin on that side. And the water will come along, the water will come down and come down to the, to the base of the leaf. So we have, this is a double curvature structure, which is curved that direction and curved in that direction, which gives some rigidity to the form. Wait a second. Okay, and then on the, on, on the top, we have, uh, we have another double curvature so that the water will go down and follow the line. You see, it's quite thin. This is, this, it's very thin. And you see the, the light will come that way. And we use that, those holes for the light. It's a kind of homage, how do you say homage? Homage to Lutner. 
you know this house was a no, but I didn't know I didn't know a lot now when I did that but I saw the house yesterday did you, know, did you see that that house with the concrete on top with the holes you should go it's very very interesting structure so and so what I was saying yeah this is very thin this is uh, 30 15 centimeters which is uh, five five inch thick no for 20 for 61 feet long and so that so that we use fiberglass cover and and which is quite interesting is that we as you can see now the structure this, these arch are 210 meters 210 feet long so they are quite important so that you can see them from far away but when you are uh, driving, when you are under the cover, you, you will feel the, the movement of the structure and the movement of the form making. And, but I didn't do an arch like that only for the pleasure because it's not useful, we use those feet. So the arch is working in the other direction. It's not an arch working like suspended, but working to, stabili to stabilize the structure in the other direction. So you have to feel like, maybe you can give scales to the sink, but you have to give scale in relation with the, the reality of the structure, which is, which is with their, very, what is very, very interesting is that the volume you, you read, the volume is not the volume I, I build, it's exactly the, the contrary of the volume I build, but it gave you a feeling of another volume. And you see, you, you, you pass from here, this side, to the, it's an, to inside that and outside. So you have three positions, which are three positions of the structure. One is before the void, one is in the void, and one is after the void. But you will understand that in, for other projects. The idea of void is quite, quite important. We use green concrete in, on the floor and then these arch beams. So you, now you can understand the two scales of lecture of this structure. This is quite a simple, a simple cover for stadium. Here you have it's for athletes. So the athletes they, they don't use how do you vestiaire? Vestiaire? Dressing. dressing. They don't use it very much. They come in the dressing room and go out after. So in this, here we use a concrete structure on the, on the bottom and then a steel structure on the top. And those boxes, I will talk about those boxes in a while. And what is interesting is that this form of the structure, when we draw it for the competition, I mean, I, I, yes, I have to say that in France, we always work through competitions. All, all those projects have been won through competitions, public competition. So in, when I did the structure for the competition, it was very simple like that. And then we began to work on this idea of the curve. And you can see this curve is doing that. Whoop, and whoop. It has a bump, it has a thicker part here, which is coming from the forces, obviously. But we didn't draw that at the very beginning. And drawing that, I think I've, I've, we, we took very long time to, to manage to design this form. It's kind of a shrink, no? But as we, it's, it's, I don't see what's, what is there? No. Is that is that any slider? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again. So you see the boxes. So those are boxes are made of concrete, particle, particle concrete, and we use the we use inside the plate of uh, steel plate, but very very thin plate, and we need we need to rigid, rigidify make it more rigid. Oh, we need, oh, excuse me, I'll play with that. So we had to, in, to invent this machine, which is kind of a, kind of a waffle machine, no? So you, you pass the, the, leaf, the steel leaf underneath and it gives you those, these small holes here. So it, it gives you rigidity in this direction and it, it works with the light. So, no, you don't, I don't know what. Yeah, you see that? That's passing through the waffle machine. 
So in that case, the idea of the machine was very important to, so that it will give both rigidity and work with light. And for me, obviously, the work of engineering is you, you don't understand gravity if you don't link it to the, the idea of the light. How the light will pass through that? I'll show you some of the projects. If you don't, you have to feel where is the light, not lightness, but light. If you can, how do you say that? If you, you need to, to catch the light inside the structure. I don't know where I am. Yeah, you see this is the inside of the structure. All those members have been drawn for, especially for, obviously, especially for this structure. The structure was quite complicated because it's, it's a two beams like that, up and that way, and turned that way. So this, it's the feeling that geometry will work extremely linked with, uh, is extremely linked with statics. The idea of static is completely linked with this idea of using the material cutting it, welding it, and the idea of using the geometry. The water will come down inside and goes down here. The movement of the forces, the movement of the natural, natural movement like wind or water, forces, people, all those reasons are all those are reasons to make a structure. It's they are not only it's not only a functional reason. You can make you never, I never make false structure, but I make structures where I intend to, to emphasize, for example, the movement of one force or the movement of the, the water. Because you have to think that statical problems are not so static. And they, are, they are a kind of a, a dynamical movement that has been stopped. You know, I was talking about the idea that the difference between mass and weight, you know, mass is a weight through an acceleration, but an acceleration that has been stopped in a way. So you have to feel the movement of the structures when you are drawing it statically. Oh. Is she's coming with that? Okay, that's okay, let's go forward. This is a strange building. We designed, uh, I, I want somebody ask me to, to make a housing building, a very simple, low rate housing building. And as in Paris, we are in a strange situation because in Paris, if you want to build a building, you, if you are, want to be sure to build a building, you have to build it in stone, out of stone. And it's not only in Paris, here in downtown too, you, everybody's building stone, but it has nothing to do with stone. It's just stone put on the building. So in Paris, we are in a strange situation because the, every, all the buildings are built with thin stone, three, no, one inch thick, built on a concrete facade. So everybody, as I always say, everybody is happy in that situation because the, the owner is very happy. He has a building in stone, but it's not in stone. But he doesn't know it looks like stone. And, uh, and the people inside the, the building are very happy because they feel like they are in a stone building, but it's not in stone, and the architect is happy because he can have the permit you know, to build it. So, so it's no problem, because if you build it in steel, it will be complicated in Paris or whatever. So in that case, we use stone, but I, I felt like I, if, we, if we had to use stone, I will use it or either as a stick stone or as the thinner stone. So in that case, we decided to use it as the thinner stone. So, and I wanted to, to see what is, could be the link between the way of building and the way we will change the flats, the distribution of the rooms in, in, inside. So we use it, a curtain wall here. It's a very simple curtain wall. Those parts are glass reinforced, glass reinforced concrete, very thin, it's half thick, half inch thick. And on top of that, I want, and, and so I, I wanted to see that what the curtain wall will change in the, in the structure of the apartment itself. So you can see that inside you have only one long window. From outside you have this very simple structure. So let's talk about that. You see, we use this, these, those elements which we are 
which are here. This is steel reinforced, no, glass reinforced concrete, very thin. And I tried to figure out how to make sick with very thin plates. And this is marble, but it's five millimeters thick marble, which is quarter of inch. So that in that case, this marble could be used for something else, which is a shutter. Shutter? Shutter? Yeah. So you see that? We use, so here it will look like a Parisian, no, not here. Somewhere. Here it will look, here it will look like a Parisian building. It's all of, no, not here, you don't have windows. But let's say on the fifth floor or somewhere like there, upstairs. So it will be like a, it will be like a stone facade and windows. But after that, the people will use a marble and they can change the facade and they can change it as a, as a shadow. It passes in front of the window. So they can change all the, the, the cadrage, all the perspective they have from their, from their apartment. And which is, what is quite interesting is that we make sickness out of thinness. Can you, do, can you say that in English? Yeah. This is, the thickness of this is just made of a quarter of inch marble, half inch concrete, glass reinforced concrete, and the, the window is quarter of an inch glass. Everything is, is made of nothing, but afterwards it gives you a thickness of the, of the whole building. And you, as you can see, so the, so the people will use the shutter as they want. This, here it's closed. They left the apartment. This guy, this is, is the, so he's, one is sleeping, the other one left. So, so you have the life of the building in its facade, no? And from inside, you can see what you can do with the shutters, which is quite interesting because you can make the window you want. And then the apartment is very, it's a new situation because it has no post in the facade. The, all the facade is free. You see? It's the can. And it's very simple. So it's, it has not, it's very low tech. Usually, I'm, tech, I'm speaking about this idea, but we won't have very much time today, but the idea that technology it has not to be shown as the end of, by in itself, you know, technology, it's a use. So, you better feel like low technology than high technology. So you, these shadows are very simple, you do it that, that way. The only complicated thing in that shadow is that it has three parts on the bottom and one on the top. Usually you always have two and two, which is in equilibrium, no? If you have one and three, it's much more complicated. Because, but it's much more interesting because the bottom will go fast, faster than the top. So instead of having the, 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 the hole here, you will have the hole here so that the light will come from the top. When you close it, you can close it, adding light itself and not seeing from out, not seeing from outside. No. That's the interior, and it's changed very much because we have no connection between the facade and the walls. So everything is open. It's an open space through the facade, and in the so that's day and night and. So you can change the opening of the facade and then you can change also the light coming from outside and the light going outside. It's like, like a light box. Now that's, I don't know, we don't have time to talk about that, but it's another, another trying, which is, there is a lot of noise in this, on this boulevard, so we use a double facade. One is, in, this is double windows, but you can open it and use that part uh, as a prolong prolongation? Elongation. Huh? Elongation. Elongation of your salon. It goes up to that way. So here we have another kind of shutters, which are shutters of glass. So the people, so, but it's very, it's very Parisian way of thinking, because in Paris, those are low cost building, so you have a, sp a special surface. You, d you cannot go further than the surface that is owned for this. It is three bedroom, you, you need 57 square meters, so you cannot do 
60. So in that case, we use this as a, we use that part. So when you are inside, you feel like you are you have a bigger because this is not count count in the surface. But it, you, that's the power of architecture, making things look bigger than they are. Uh, so that so this part is very important because people can even eat here. This is a kitchen. So you have in that in that apartment you have a direct relationship between the one bedroom, one kitchen, and the salon. This is the living room. So they are three connected through that space, and that space is in between a real facade and a kind of a shadow facade where the people will throw the windows outside so that they, they can wash it. So you can see they open it or they close it. Here it's open. Here on the top, the last floor. So it's you can push it that way or push it the other way or leave it open here or close it. So you can do whatever you want with this facade and you can do whatever you want using it. And it's in the same situation. There is no, no, no structure in the facade, but so it's a light facade. No, it's, I cannot talk too much about all that today. But so now we're coming back to, to some of the structures we are dealing with. You know, the type of engineering structures, one is, is the cover we talked about before, one is high tower, and the third one will be bridges. So for, for towers, we did that, it's a light tower. I mean, tower for light. How do you say it? Tower for light. Oh, that's right. So this is 50 meters high, which is 150 feet high. And it's a very strange story because at the very beginning we had to do two. So, no. At the very beginning we had to use 27 very small light towers. So I took the money of the 27 and I put all the money one on top of the other. And we did two. Two big ones. And then I decided to take the money of the two and put the money one on top of the other. So it began with very small light tower. And, and then after that we use it higher one, which is 150 feet high. And in, we had a problem with the, the elevator. It's because of the elevator, you have to change the elevator. You have to come more often to, to check the elevator than to change the lamp. So we took out the, the elevator. And with that money, we, we could use another kind of structure. The structure is, the idea of the structure is how to pass from a very thin, continuous structure to a lighter one, which would be discontinuous. So it's obviously a parabolic variation because there is only one thing which is important here is a dynamical problem after the, after the wind. And so you can see those elements which are being built. It's not only a project. You see, those, this plate, it's a continuous plate, and then we begin with hollows in that, and then it will be bigger and bigger, so that it became members. So how to pass from a plate, continuous plate, to members in space? And rationally through the calculation of that. And as I said, um, for ex we, we did a lot of calculation for that, but we did very, the very first calculation we did was to know what was the period, the period for, for, for a tower as to be as far away as it can be possible to one second. So if you, have, if you know you, this rule is very simple, you calculate it, it has to be far away from one second. And when we draw it, it was exactly, exactly one second. So it means that sometimes you don't, you have not the genius of the calculation before. The, you know, the form will not follow exactly what it should be. I say that because some people say, what should we, Nietzsche asked me, what should be the part of your instinct? Sometimes the part of my instinct is very, very bad. So don't be afraid about that. And then you recalculate it. If you cannot, it's not, if it's not right, you recalculate it. So, and the, no. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's the slide. By the end, it's not working. It's, it's okay. This is another kind of, this is a high rise, high voltage, high voltage uh, electricity 
tower. We did that competition. It's a strange competition because they began with that competition three or four years ago. They began with that competition and they asked for a statical tower. So I said, what could be a statical? You know, it began with that. And overall, they invited, they invited designer, architects, and engineers. They invited Stark by, by as a designer. They invited Perrault as an architect and they invited me as an engineer and a few others. And they said, for, so everyone will have his own answer. You know, it's like a catalog, you know. The, the Stark will do something like that, Pero will do, you know. So in that case, my answer was not very aesthetical. It was trying to figure out what would be the way of building things so that it would be in a rational way of, in relationship with the landscape. How can it be rational with the landscape? So there are two ways to be rational with the landscape. Let's say one will be to have this, with one element, this old element, so that you can use them and connect one to each other and make them so that you can have seven type of pilots that are in the same theory, you know? So that it won't be one different from the other one. And the second idea is that uh, it has to be really thin, in, really thin in respect of the landscape and leaving the horizon path through. So we did that. You see, this element is quite thin. This is 1 meter 25 wide, which is uh, 3 feet wide, 3 feet, yeah, for 210 feet high. So this is 3 to 200 which is quite thin, no? It's like a bamboo, no? So we calculate it so that it can be very thin and very rigid. And the second thing which is quite important is that you see that line here, that this line of the horizon pass through the structure. So that, only, you have to always to really understand that horizon is the line between sky and earth, which is the line between defining gravity. So if you can leave the line passing through the structure, which is quite strange, because usually the structure are more thick, are thicker and, and more opaque, opaque? Opaque, down than up. Usually it's, big, it's beginning opaque and, and then it's, it's, it's becoming lighter. In that case, we did the contrary because I wanted obviously to have this line passing through. So if that line passing is passing through, you will feel the gravity and you will be able to catch inside the structure this because of this ball you will be able to catch the light inside if you can catch the light inside you can feel the void and feel this idea that the void is the reason of the gravity so it's very simple idea but we have to build it now we are building it we are doing a real model a model of 210 feet high, you know, which is quite a model. But before that, we did models of wood and model. So, but you can feel, you see the light coming through that. So here you have darkness, and here you have light, and you have, on, in the other side, inside, you have light. So you catch the light inside, so you, you can feel the void. And if you feel the void, you can feel the relationship between light and gravity. That's what I think. What? Maybe you, you don't understand what I'm saying, but but it's not very important. So, um, it's a complicated way of thinking, so I tried to explain it. But it's, okay, so that's it. Doesn't work anymore. So you will feel it, you know, those are very thin elements in the landscapes. You see, you see the line here, passing through, and the lightness of that. For example, this one, this model is different from that model and different from that model. You see here you have four in that way, here you have two in this direction, if you have two thinner. So, but you can feel it as a family. That's what it was, I thought it was important, so that you can build one with the other. Okay, and now we are, Going to another world, which is the world of bridges, I won't be very long. I uh, 
This is the first bridge we did. No, it's not the first bridge. It's one of the first. But first, we, we use for that a special relationship between the making and the landscape. In that situation, we are. It's a very asymmetrical situation. Here, it's inch here. Uh, here, no. For before speaking about the moments, uh, here in the, on top you can see that there is on one part you have the, the, the town of Toulouse and on the other part you have the suburb. It's a peripheral highway. So I wanted to so peop, the people that to, will took that sometimes they never see Toulouse. So I said you have to, to give orientation to this to the space, and so it's an asymmetrical situation, but very very strange because here you have a slope you see upstairs. So when you, you took here, this height is, is lower than that one. So here you cannot put another post. So you have two possibilities. One is to take out this one or, and this one or leave one. So I, I decided to leave just one. So we use this curve section. You see that? This is a curved section of a semi elliptical curve. So that with this curve, you can change the form. Just, no, wait a second. Just two, two more slides. Wait, wait, I'll show you. Show. No, 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 this is, come here. here no, no, I, I'll explain after. But you should, you should see that. No, you see that. You see that. Look at that. So the guy will curve it. I'll go very quickly. You see that? So you curve the slide. You change it. So I want to show you that. It's very, very, it's, no, it's not important. We don't have, look at that. Okay, and then after what, the, you, you, we use that plate, steel plate, and you are leaving in two minutes. And then we curve it. You see the machine, we curve it that way, and we curve it in the other direction, so that it will be in two direction curved steel. And then, west, okay. You see that? So the animal is like a whale, uh, and it's moving uh, for construction. I'll show you that, just, and then you leave very quickly. You see that? So it's just a way of making, using one steel sheet, one steel, lead, uh, steel plate, curving it in one direction. It's always the same section, but you move in this section, so you feel the... So, I won't talk too, bad, too much about that, but you know that we, you have to, to make tension in that part and compression in the other one. So you see the variation of form. It's a strange project because we use for that project, we use for that project a very simple continuous line of moment and we use one form and a way of making that form so that it will become quite, it's very simple when you read it, but it's quite complicated when you because of the geometry, you know, you see that? And I thought that this was a good example because it's a very direct relationship between the forces and the way of making this, this surface in space. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> no, I want to show you that. I love it, man. No. <laughs> it's okay. That's it. Oh. Let's see. So, okay. We did it very quickly, but I wanted him to see that. <laughs> it's not a bad part, isn't it? So it's, you see, now we won't develop it, but, so you see this is, so this is inched here, and very thin plate here. It's only one, it's a half inch thin plate, half inch thick plate. But the form of the, the form of the, plate will give rigidity to the structure. And we work on that structure, we work with, you see that line here is a line of the water, so that the water will go down here and go down here. And it's very strange because we use that line, and after that we did a project Mitchell worked on, was this project for Berlin competition, and we use the same ID, but instead of the water, we use that line so that the people will walk on top. So that we have two, two, two connections. One connection from, from the, for the people through the banks and one connection on top. And after that, I'll show you just because it's important to understand that one project can speak with another one. You see these sections? These are, these are curved sections of steel plate. 
taking this cantilever for this other food bridge. And it was nice to see the, the relationship between the structure and the form it can give. You see, so that the people will come here, will arrive in the middle, and they will follow the forces. And then after you, I'll show you a project where we exactly use this concept. This is a very neat, simple footbridge. This is the French soccer stadium. And you remember that we are That's, for, that's not very important. It's bigger than mine, but that's the stadium for the championship. So we are, and so that. But what is more important is that one structure like, like that one linked this part of the city, which is it was exa it was really out of the, of the of the city because of the canal, and just by this bridge, bridge the, the, the footbridge can link, and so that the, the people from the Framboisin, which is this park. They just say they are not anymore from the Formada. They are from the big stadium. So it's very important that, to feel like you're, you're, we have a huge responsibility with working in public space because when you do a bridge, you, you just, it's not a functional problem at all. Going from one side to the, to the other, everybody can do that, no? But how to go from one side to the other? What do you give them? And in that case, we give them this link over the canal, so they can have, when they are on top of the, the bridge, they can see the big stadium, they can see the church, which was a very old church, which is in the middle of the city. They never saw that church before. They were, it was a, the church from the kings of the, of the 17th century in France. And their place, which is an ugly place. But if you can make a connection between this ugly place where you live, the cathedral that you never saw, and the, and, and the stadium that you cannot go, in one, no, let's not only laugh, in one moment you are in your own city. You, you are part of the city. So you have to be very careful that when you work for a very simple footbridge like this one, you are giving more democracy, more, you know, you are, you are giving a, 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 and something that everybody will share. It's not only a, a building, a bridge is not a building, it's a, a public space where you can where people can share the space. It's, you know, if you speak with, with anybody, they will say that bridges is not only structures, it's a place where you, you, fall, you fall in love, you suicide, you, it's very, so, so you have to think about all that when in your projects, you know. In, so, and then, this is Paris, this is a bridge coming through the canal, through the river and then going through the canal so that it, be, it has been, pushed in place, put in place in one second, very quickly, you see. And it's very simple, it sounds to be simple, but it's not so simple. You see that, that line, it's, it's curved line on, in, in elevation, but it's curved also in plan. So that the beam on top and the, the, the beam in the bottom, which is an arch, two arches linked one to the other, this is curved. The, the, so you have four lines, four curved lines, the, the, the tension line, the compression line, and the two lines of in plan. And with that, we, 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 from that, we uh, invented a volume. You see, it's a volume that I avoid, but it's a very interesting volume because it changed from that to, it's changed from that to that all the time through those elements which take care of the tension that will go through that member. Oh. Hey, it's quite it's interesting that you cannot see it, but you can feel it in the tension. And this, this picture shows you the virtual project and the real one. This was before that, not after. We did that before. 
but it's quite similar and it's not really the same because uh, because of the way of making the things this is another project do you have more time? Let's, we have more time? so this is one this is a small bridge very interesting because of the, the, the story of the bridge we work on that project for the very it's not that version but another one we did before with Mitchell it's a uh, it's it lasts for six years just just to figure out what would be the where the boat will pass how it would be connect this is a this is not a, a footbridge but a footbridge over a dam and the footbridge is used so that the it can you can have movement of the doors of the dam the dam do you see that so there are steel doors which are moved by oil okay so the oil pass by by the, the footbridge and they decide at the very beginning to make a footbridge going from that side over the dam to here to here but not at the end so it was a very special footbridge you you went up you could have gone from here just to here and the people wouldn't walk you know they go here they, they couldn't go there so we decided to, to make the footbridge go into the other end, which is, sounds very simple, but it took for at least two years to do that. And then we, decide, we designed this bridge over this ID, which is the idea of two arches being linked to, together. So you see that the structure is quite complex in, in the point of view of geometry. You see those two arches are, two arches are one on top of the other. And as you put, the, you take two or four arches, and you do with two, you do that, and with two, you do that. So you have a bigger void in the middle here. The, the, the oil is passing that, and this movement in the structure will let you see and read the movement of forces and the, the relationship between the geometry and the way of making. Because when you are outside, you can look at that. It's very simple, no? It's quite simple, no? But it's a simple arch being divided in three arches with a void inside. But when you look at the section, it's quite much more complicated. What I do think is that in the city, the public construction like this one has to be very, very simple so that it's not, you don't give the people, you don't, they don't, they must not see that it was so complicated to build it so, so you pass so many hours that you show that you know you have to show that more simple thing and then they will come inside and then feel the, the thing more complicated and feel it and feel it and feel it yeah, and if they are architect they will feel it more and if they are engineer they will feel more or less I don't know but they will feel another thing so it's like it's like music you don't you don't give everything in the first minute it's, so we did a very simple house for the cabin command to be the guy who stay here so he will see everything so it's a very small house but cantilever here and we use that stone which is a stone of the suburb in Paris nobody use it anymore but we could use it it's not very modern no? you see I think we changed the And now I'll show you the last project is I'll, I'll get very quickly because you are tired and you have to work uh, this is the project I show you now is the project we are building right now actually we build it two, one week before I left Paris so it's a project in the middle of Paris that we are in the middle of Paris in the 19th century they built that bridge and the bridge fall down in 1961 because it because of the of the ice and it was not it was a dirty steel. This bridge here is the Louvre. Here is I am Pay building called the Pyramid. No? You know that building, no? And here is the Tuileries, the garden, and in front of that you have Musée d'Orsay on the other side of the river. Here we are building that bridge here in the very central part of Paris over the Seine. 
This bridge is, what did I have done? This bridge is kind of a link between, a link between the two parts of the river. One part is an open space with the garden and the other part is the, the mu museum. So it, there, we have seven museums here in that part and the bridge, will, that's the old bridge. And they are the a tra transitory bridge that we destroyed. And we did that competition in 92. We won that competition in 92, I think. This is 94, so I don't know. No, it was 92. That was the drawing for the competition. The idea is very simple. We, are, and we have two levels to connect. And in between those two levels, we are in an asymmetrical situation. Here, you have a lot of cars passing by here on top. And here in the bottom, you have a lot of cars. But it's a kind of a highway in the middle of Paris, which is quite strange. But it's like that. So people wouldn't cross here in the bottom and they would cross here on the top. So what we use, we use the form of the arch so that it can connect the four levels, the level on top and the level in the bottom. So you can understand that here. It's, it's quite, we use the idea of those two arches, these arches in plan are two arches and each arch is inched at the end in this direction. So if you take a a structure like that, it's not very stable in this direction. But so you would, we, we do two of them. So in between, the void will be, the, the, will give the rigidity to the structure. And in this void, you will be able to walk. So the people will walk here inside the structure along the, the arch, which is a this is 106 meter long, so which is 300, 320 feet long. And it's only, let's say 350, no, 320 feet large. And this is, this is uh, two feet deep. So we give it very light, a lot of lightness and transparency to that. Because you have a large span, and usually when you have a large pen, you have higher members. So I wanted this to be quite transparent. So here you see those members, we have no diagonals. So here it's embedded, but you have no diagonal. So we had to use a special way of making things. I'll show you in a moment. OK, you understand that you will come inside that. This, this picture, this drawing has been done by Mitchell a few years ago, but from this drawing to the first one, we, we spent 10,000 hours working. But after that, they spent 30,000 hours of building. So it's quite important to, 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 to make those, those 30,000 hours inside the building. So this is the situation here. You are here in the middle of Paris. The bridge will go from here to here. So here was the beginning of the foundation. And you see it cross all over. And you can cross the Tuileries and go through that to Opera. And you see the Opera there, the green top, green roof. <laughs> the animal. Right. OK, foundation. I will go fast so that you can understand that. Here, so what we did, we used very thick plates, the thickest plates you can use for this kind of, not for this kind of structure, but for any structure, there is a limit. You can use thicker plates, but for not, you cannot work on them. So in that case, you see the members. This is, this is uh, 14 centimeters thick, which is five thick five inches thick, it's like that, it's full of steel. But we, we, and then we work on that, we, we, we did this very small thing, which is follow that so that we'll, it will, you, you will see it's at a thinner edge. And we cut 
the section here and cut it here. The lion in me, that's the lion. So, and then, so they have to, to weld that, and for that we use a special technology issued from nuclear plants. For, for the nuclear plants, they needed to have 100% quality, they call that 100% quality, which never happened, happened, but anyway, they invented that so that you can have x-rays for the, the plane section. It's a plane section welded to the other, and then you x-ray the section so that you are sure that there are no holes in, in the welding. That's, so, so we use that, I think it's the first time, I think it's the first time in the world we use that technology for structures. Uh, uh, but, so they, I, to invent a special machine that will cut the steel, one special one that will weld it inside, but they have to heat it before they weld it. You see, it's kind of, that's what I was talking about before. You have to feel that in your project because really the main thing we did with our project is to make it exactly the same as it was at the very beginning. But not exactly the same as an idea, but exactly the same as a way of making it, as 35,000 hours of making it. You know, to, to feel that all those things are in one project and not, not an idea of the project without knowing how to make it. I, I just want you to remember, after I leave here, that you can have a lot of pleasure, a lot of pleasure in this world of making things, you know. As, but you have a lot of pleasure when you feel this thing with the people, they build it. They are, we are in the same team, we are, in, it's the same story. It's not one after the other, or one running after the other, or one being having his photo in the magazine and the other one working like hell. No, it's, it's only one project. So you have to feel that. And if you feel that, you will have a lot of pleasure with that. Sharing it. You know, you don't, you, you're building buildings to share them with other people, so why don't you share them when they build, you build it? So you see the members will come. They came directly from the east of France. They came in part, and then we weld it on the site. We weld large pieces in, in, the, in the industry field, and then we weld it together on the, in the site. And then one day, you see, this, you see the work of lightness and the work of light. You know, this is the arch. This is the shadow. The light passing through, catching the light inside, having this. This element that will make a shadow here. This is a curved, curve, curve radius here, and here is straight. And all those, all those elements, this element, as you can see, is not the same as that one, because here you have a, it's a secondary member, so the shadow will be outside. Here it's a first member, primary member, so the shadow will be inside. It's the kind of thing we're dealing with. You see the structure here that for the surface is quite complicated, but everything will have. You have to feel it very simple by the end, but but it has to be complicated. It not has to be complicated, but usually when you want to make things very appear very simply simple, they are quite complicated to build. And then one day, two weeks ago, this crane, a huge crane, came from. It's, this this crane is is very special crane that can carry 300 tons at once. So it will, it comes from Rotterdam, from Holland, and will carry those pieces during three nights. So that's the first. This is, this is a, we spent a long time divide, designing this connection here. It's, it's like two fingers, you see? Here you have this, you never draw fingers like that, you have always something in between the fingers, no? So this is, we, and nobody will see it. Nobody will see, because it's under the bridge. To see that, you will have to go in a boat. And it's very hard to go there. Not very hard, but, that's all, but the people will see it very quickly. But if you don't draw that very precisely, you don't draw anything very precisely. You understand? So you have never feel like two beams like that. Two beams has to be connected. You have to to love each other, they spend a long time together. 
And so you have to connect them. Be kind with them, you know? And maybe they will, they will love each other someday. I'm for the future of, you have to respect the future of beams, you know? They will spend 100 years together, so draw them with carefully so that they will feel happy. Okay, and then you, we have only here, the connection here is only, you have only three millimeters here, so that you have to be quite precise. And that's the first day after the first night. And then after that, we have to, then the second night we, 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 we put the other side and then, and then the third one, we put the middle, which is, was quite a happy night. I mean, happier by the end, but not very much when we build it because it has ex to be exactly precise, no? And we use the two, one part of the two part was like that and we have to put that one so it cannot fit. So we, you have to push it back and push it backward. So it was quite complicated to make, but this crane worked quite well. And then you see that it's like a, another kind of ballet for the night. And then that's it. That picture is, is about one week old. So now you are inside. The people will walk here. They will walk here and go to the other side to literally. And they will be inside of this void so that it, they will feel the structure. They will touch the structure. And so it's not a long distance feeling. And you can see from when you are very close to it, you can feel the shadows and the light passing through. But when you are quite far, not, not far away, let's say from the other bridge, you don't see it anymore, which is quite strange. We spend so much time so that you cannot see it. Not so that you can see it, you know? Which is, I think it's a good, Conclusion, no? Huh? Don't show you, don't show the thing too much. And somebody says, you know, even the, the, the color, you know, the color is quite the same as the stone. And so why? Why don't I paint it? I could have painted yellow or blue. But why? Just, you know, this is, this is another virtual image. And it's, it will be exactly like that. You don't see it very much. But it will be there. I mean, it's, it's there already. And you will, be, you will go inside the structure and you will be able to walk in it. And it's like being that very exceptional situation so, so that you will walk. I did that just two days before I came here. You, I went on top of that and you, you are in a situation where nobody was before, so in the middle of the river and in between the water and the sky. And the people will walk in that. And you see, it's like, I use this idea of having a window, window in the sky, you know. It's like you're forced, when you walk along the forces, you have to look to the sky and then you feel the river down there through the structure. So you see the river here. So it's a great situation. And, and, the feeling of that we spend such a long time working on that to make it possible, not only to make it possible, but to make it so that everybody will have the feeling of this movement of forces and through the one people will walk. And I feel like it's, it's kind of the kind of work we, we are dealing with. You can deal with too. And I wanted just to finish, just to say that work of structures and work of architecture is, is this way of sharing, sharing space and sharing space as a material. So, so I'm quite happy to do that work and I hope you, you will be happy to, it's a chance for, we have a, it's really a chance to do that work. So, make it with pleasure. Thank you.
Is there? That's work. Thank you for coming. All right.